Back in 2017, I started to uh, do what I always love to do, performance, acting. Oh. You're still breathing. Just gasping for air. Here for you boys. Look at that. P.O. fucking V. How did you get inside? Social justice warrior! Oh yeah. Who is it then, Kat? Someone we know. Yeah, you're really out of cunt. Whoa, whoa. There's no need for that. I wanted to see if I could be uh, better than before, just see where I was. I didn't know what I was doing, really. I was just trying to find a path in life again. I started to find a passion for something else, something that I hadn't expected. It was, it was talking to people, it was, it was, it was real. Some freelance, it's not more based on as soon as you reach that level, isn't it? But we were born as creators. Well, would that cause, well, I'd be told to move on. About reflecting on mistakes and when we went to the consultation, Sandy Ball. Well, I'm not going to bang out on someone's window or anything like that. Ultimately, um, writing to me. Um, acting started to take more of a back burner. So by the time I got to 2019, things really did start to change. Found a passion for, for, for interviews, for talking, and YouTube. Something that I thought I could never really, really do on my own. And I really wanted to be uh, out there talking to really interesting people. And the first interviews that I started to do, open my world up to a world of possibilities and, and fascinating people and by the time I got to 2021 really found my, my stride, I hit my stride and started to get more engaged in the local community. I started to talk to, to people of power, MPs, councillors, anyone who could help me to make things better in Runcorn, save the local bridge, save heritage, campaign for things to, to start moving again. But then I started to talk to other people such as uh, other creatives, um, producers, writers, novelists who could tell me something interesting and, and give me more of an insight into how the world works and got involved with local events, businesses and you know I really did hit my stride and but unfortunately life throws you lemons and between 2022 and 2024 currently uh, things have been sort of hit and miss. If you see the ever-changing backdrops that I've had to deal with, you know, I've had to move house quite a few times in two years. I didn't want to put myself back out there until I was ready, until I was able to sort of free up my brain and take a lot of back seats on everything in the last year, just to find my feet again and to find that that energy to create and grow again. I can tell you now, we're ready. My, I've put the finishing touches to my first video on Sunday. The real ale pub to help, but it's not just about real ale. So I don't want, but I'm a real ale enthusiast. We're doing more interviews again. Get back to interviews. I want, I miss interviews. Championing things that I believe in. All I want now is to is to start, and and Sunday that is to start. So, if you're on YouTube watching this, thank you for, for sticking around. It's about time I come back to the world and start re-energizing and growing again. 2025 is going to be my year, my year of growth, my 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 year of expansion it's just essentially going to be the year in which i come back Mwah. love to you all and let's go on this journey together see you soon